Why would you make as low as 0.01% at some banks when just by enabling Robinhood Cash Sweep, you can make 1.5% APY with your money? Well, that's the question that Robinhood is asking users as they pitch their Cash Sweep program. This was a video on request, so I'll get right to the point and explain what Robinhood Cash Sweep is. We'll talk about how it works, the difference between Robinhood's previous cash management program and entering into Cash Sweep, and answer the ultimate question of, is it safe? So what is it? In Robinhood's own words, if you have a brokerage account, you can earn 1.5% interest in the brokerage Cash Sweep program by having your uninvested brokerage account cash automatically swept or moved into deposits at a network of program banks. See, Robinhood is not a bank and they're clear to state this and they don't pay interest. That's why to get passive income on your unused invested cash, you've got to enable their cash sweep program to use the banks in their network to get that interest that you'd be used to having at a typical bank or brokerage. To make the cash sweep happen, here's Robinhood's network of partner banks. You can see they've got some well-known names from Goldman Sachs to Citibank. These banks are FDIC insured, which means that your money is backed federally insured by the government up to $250,000 per account. The names of the banks and who Robinhood uses are important to know, especially if you have a high cash balance close to that $250,000 mark. So what's the difference between this cash sweep program that Robinhood is now pushing compared to their cash management program that they introduced with the debit card years and years ago? To put it simply, it comes with all the bells and whistles. You'll get a debit card, you'll get a routing and an account number. You'll have the ability to write checks and even set up direct deposit directly into your Robinhood account. You can also access ATMs and get them fee free with your Robinhood debit card. With cash management, you'll automatically be enrolled into Cash Sweep. So while you have all of those other products and services available to you, the uninvested cash that you have in your account will automatically start to earn that 1.5% APY out at the partner banks affiliated with Robinhood. If you just want Cash Sweep and don't want all the other bells and whistles associated with the cash management, that's okay too. You'll get the benefits of the 1.5% passive income APY on your unused cash, and you don't have to deal with all of the other things that come with the cash management program. All you have to do is enable Cash Sweep, which I'll show you how to do next. Enabling Cash Sweep is simple. You'll go to your profile in the bottom right, click on the three menu bar in the top left, tap the first setting called investing. You'll scroll down and you'll see your different settings, and under Cash Sweep Program, you'll click Enable Cash Sweep. Continue through, accept all of the disclosures, and just like that, you're done. So now that you're considering taking the step of enabling Cash Sweep, the big question, is it safe? What's the risk here? Well, the first big thing to know is because Robinhood is using federally insured banks, your money is safe up to $250,000. Now it's your responsibility to monitor whether you're exceeding the $250,000 that the government will insure per bank account. Let's use this as an example. If you already have $100,000 at Chase Bank and you're putting money into the Robinhood Cash Sweep program and you put say $300,000 into Robinhood, if you enable a significant portion of that unused cash to go into Chase Bank, that will take you over the $250,000 insured limit. At this point, what you're going to want to do to make sure that your money stays safe and is federally insured is just take off the Chase Bank option to use as one of the partner banks so your money goes seamlessly into a different account and doesn't cross the threshold. For a lot of users, that won't apply and they're more concerned about whether their cash is accessible at any time, just like it would be if it were in your brokerage account you won't notice a difference. You'll be able to access your cash whenever, wherever, making the cash sweep process really seamless. Additionally, the important thing to note about the interest rate, 1.5% APY, really, really good compared to what you're gonna get at a traditional bank. That may not always stay. It could go up and just as recently as May, four months ago, 
it was only at 1% and it's already gone up to 1.5. That's been affected by the federal interest rates. When the federal interest rates go up, the cash sweep rate will likely go up too. But the same thing in reverse. If the Fed lowers interest rates, you're gonna get less on your money, potentially almost down to nothing, less than 1%. So it varies and Robinhood states this in the disclosures, but right now they're really pushing that 1.5% interest rate out to attract users, but know that may not stay forever. So, in conclusion, it's safe, it's easy to enable, and I don't see why you wouldn't turn this feature on if you've got unused cash in your account. If you're new to Robinhood and want to sign up, I'm not affiliated with them, but I do have a link down in the description to get free stocks when you sign up using that. I'll put it in the second line of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.